Good evening everyone and welcome to the next episode of Graveyard of Tiekwan Inn where I do write some Django and uh, try to recreate a product and drink red tea of course uh, let me do just that and in this episode uh, I'm going to pick up where I started last time uh, so you know good old boring um, adding new sections to the website with uh, some surprises on the way so this is going to be probably, well, hopefully, as short as uh, the last time. So let me go ahead. Uh, we had that one ticket with checklist there. And we did alchemist's tools. Uh, we haven't done the enchantments or spells, I would say spells, ranger spells and uh, wizard spells. So that's I think something that we could do today. Um, so let's start from models again, I would say. Uh, that's always fun. So starting in the legacy. And this one is proper. So moving to the creations. Um, I believe that this is a creation again so let's inherit and discard the shirts fields let me double check whether we are using a manual but I think we do yep so this we don't need authorship is there and approval status and date and rating and voting info managed it goes out so let me fix that again in the initial migration so this guy should be replaced and um, this encoded text field goes in oh that's a lot of text fields instead of char wow. most of this should be char, uh, char field based on what I know about it but um, Nevertheless, so replacing um, small integer fields should stay. So migration. make migrations because I'll always forget and this is going to be ranger spell um, which should go into documentation so dictionary um, Calling it Ranger spell will give it, get me some hate, but okay. Uh, so, Ranger Skakuzla is the check spelling and it corresponds to Ranger spell. Um, I 
Water model options. And fuel reds. Oh, that may get. How can we turn the yellow to ultra field? Are we getting to ultra fields here? We did. So let's keep it and. Although, what is this altered from? Well, let's hope I will uh, not kill much. And um, Angio Spell. And let's also get its uh, string format. So I think that. Let's give both name and altar. Which we now have to make a new migration as rename. Yes, it's. And this should be all for the model. Let me run the migration. All done. Uh, so I can, well, go to a branch. And not forget to add migrations. And feed. the ticket fifty four fifty three. Let's push that so we have a test verification and go for templates. So public templates, uh, same story as here. Um, and we are keeping the same slug, which I have to look up. So here it is. Uh, I just goes okay. Um, in order for this to work, we have to add it to pages. Uh, so this is going to be a new. Primary key uh, and is Ranger spell, right? Uh, so let's load Tata locally, not on Heroku. And this is dangerous. And if we have it, then we should have a clickable link and an exception and complaint about um, about missing templates for which we have to have a running server. No creative pages matches given a query. Oh, um, 
because that's how I, how I would it, how I would shorten it, but not how I had shortened it. Excellent. So uh, let's do a template. And possibly similar to this one. So um, that's a ranger, ranger spell list. And let's see what we're showing in the previous version. Everything as usual. Okay, in this case, let's do what uh, I did last time. So, open the previous version for help. So, code and this one. the encoding I mean fix show uh, right yeah, concepts oh, sorry Showing concept stays. Articles. And what do we have here? There is one column with like artificial, um, wi artificially increased width, which I don't know why. Um, but okay, and also as you can see, <laughs> uh, our coding style was evolving. So uh, only later on uh, we have discovered the existence of uh, associative arrays, also known as dictionaries. So you can see that everything is uh, done by, like indexed by number as opposed to by, uh, by um, name. And also I'm just discovering like, I think that not everything is shown for some reason. Um, because so zero, one, two, three. So this is going to be two. Oh. Okay, fair. Um, so the way this is displayed is. A special property. Um, this actually is shown as mandatory. Okay. So let me copy those uh, attributes so I can view them. taken care of and okay so the POP right the POP um, considers description because um, those refer to 
various units. Uh, so pop basically stands for unit. Uh, so all of those uh, are now going to have the format of um, the for, uh, like this. So let me kill all of those from the previous uh, one. Uh, so this, this, and this is going. Oh, wrong paste. Danger of copy pasting. Uh, Uh, no, the other way. Wait. Now I have mixed it perfectly. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so this goes here and this goes here. Copy pasting one on one. And uh, this shall be switched. And then, according to the original listing, it should be vice versa. So now we have someone. Um, and type. which comes without unit for a change, as do the others, it seems. So, good. Um, Scrivener is covered, so how often the spell can be used. Um, and what's needed uh, for usage. Uh, so there we go. Uh, and the rest is authorship description and when it was edit and all that. Excellent. So this should go away and if we go to the local version we should have something that roughly corresponds. Okay now I see the need uh, for the minimum width because that's because this is too tight, kinda. Um, this looks roughly same, adjusted for me. Uh, looking at larger sizes, this is the default on localhost, which may be too small. This is a uh, default error. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it works on my uh, it, it it works on my slightly larger monitor, but I assume that it wouldn't work for you uh, on the webcast. Uh, also, in here, author is up there, but I have decided uh, to show it down, and also for some reason. Uh, The group is not shown, although I think it's mandatory. 
So this is probably another data quality issue. Yeah. All right, uh, good to know. Uh, let's keep it this way for time being and uh, take a look at the single display, whether there's something I missed. So uh, I have a feeling that I have reopened wrong file. So this is where I wanted to do the Central European. Uh, author, rating, we are good. Uh, I'm displaying the uh, rating here. Okay. So far so good. Um, this will need uh, some serious redo in terms of like the compact uh, listing and the tables from the usability perspective. Um, but nevertheless, uh, this grants everything correct it seems yeah, it's also fine slash better excellent uh, have I solved the links yet cool so detail which is at this point copy paste uh, articles, article, and uh, this is really close, kind of. Um, Venture spell detail. The reason why I'm doing that is uh, instead of fixing it is that I really have in my head like uh, the future um, nitpicking, let's call it, uh, on uh, uh, how those different templates will have um, slight custom modifications. So let me show this here. Um, and replace a dot with Article notes. And this should give us everything we need. Although, for example, yeah, I think that the description makes sense to go away. But it's going to be polishing also based on user feedback. So I would declare this done. Um, yeah, I also do wonder whether or not to align this.
Well, those will be patterns. Um, that's HTML feed link that I also hope to have some front end developer to help with, but. Um, I think this is good as a kickoff. So, shorter, move this on and um, do the other template. So we are done with this. Uh, creature. Actually, one thing that I also wanted to do was to summon admin and register ranger spell into an admin. And with a base on top of master, um, uh, I think that this should go into the committed edit model. So let me rebase, push it, and while this is getting um, verified, let's move to the next guy, uh, so wizard spells. Uh, note that I'm starting to branch out of the ranger spells because I expect them to uh, get merged. And um, same thing. Uh, go to legacy. This guy uh, get it into creations, inherit from a creation. Actually, um, Let me have this as a default stringification model. Uh, no need to have it separately. Um, update the initial migration. That's also a lot of text fields. One of the early guys, also a lot of integer fields. Uh, and of not also a creation, so. This is it a creation. Make migration. Uh, and rename. It's originally only called spell, uh, but Let me start with at least some consistency here. And this is going to get into the model. So number 17. 
even here it's called this art spells and not uh, not just spells. Um, but slack needs to be consistent. All right. So. I think, oh, uh, let's add the admin. Um, I do wonder whether I um, need to have them twice and I can't register a single admin. Testing needed. So migrate. And add the migrations and add it as a base model. Uh, 53. Yep, still terrible with numbers. Um, push that. And before that gets tested, let's take a look how the Ranger is doing. Ranger is doing great. Uh, so, uh, yep, let's make a pull request out of it. This looks good enough. And pass tests. So let's merge it and wait for the deploy. Let's push this. Um, and go forward with the templates. Copied the whole tag. See the art of copy pasting. Uh, no. Is it right? Right. Yes. Yep. Also, this is broken on production. Nice. In which I assume this is it doesn't seem to be because of HTML or is it? Works now. No, it doesn't. I'm in a different category. Okay, maybe we'll discover the problem when I look at um, the original. 
code. Right. Um, yes, here as well as in the uh, detail. And the moment it ends is at outer. So something broken there. Let's see, it works in uh, the details of the spell. So if I reopen it there, is there something different? No, except for some reason it uses uh, proper Associate of arrays instead of uh, normal and how is you how is URL constructed? Right, uh, URL is a trailer that uh, passes over your select skin and the uh, session ID. So only if number 18 here uh, is something else, which is highly possible because, you know, who would remember uh, what's number 18? And since we'll potentially need it, so Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That is potentially the same. Well, I don't see anything obvious. Uh, also, let's verify this is where HTML ends and it's not just rendering totally. So it dies within the link user, which I actually have no idea where this is from, but let's try sketch all uh, code no so maybe here no uh, I don't know but um an important function when working with legacy code is um, grab. So let's use a function echo in case of declaration that should be somewhere here. If I remember how functions are defined, but oh, I have a hypothesis. 
This is invert function, and this is how it should be. Indeed. So there is a typo that's causing it to crash. Excellent. Um, so I found a bug on the original server that's out of scope of this podcast, but um, uh, let me write it down. to make sure that I fix it there. Hmm, and nobody reported that, uh, which maybe says that everybody's using the alternative view that doesn't have this bug. Okay, so... Uh, we have a ranger spell list and we now want to do wizard spell list and that is going to have a lot of those guys so Starting here, and let me add this. So, here we also have uh, Mega Energy and Description. We do have Sakhasakh with Description. We also do have uh, Summoning. And that's it. So huh. there are also workarounds are not con what's considered empty because apparently some people use dash and I decided not to show it. This will need. Okay, so one more that is using uh, the description is the, this guy. So Then we have only the single one, so trap. Uh, which I think is better translate as save rule. Uh, and save rule was actually on top, so here. Also of note, um, what's specific for spells is that they have a so-called uh, summon words. Uh huh. That is this attribute. Uh, and I. Okay, I think, and then uh, then there is a dot, and it is used in 
stars. And is this plate a smaller? I think it's actually what I did there. Is that it's not considered part of the heading, although I'm not sure how that works uh, from the perspective of flow. Ooh, because here it works because it's part of the table. And I'll be doomed if I'm not, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, if I, um, you know, also stop taking for an account that it's, um, in this case, uh, not a heading at all. <laughs> I think the, the correct way to do that would be to add an inline span. I guess. And in um, CSS, somewhere around uh, well, uh, the custom for specific sections over here. Uh, Sterling for seven spells. And let's just declare the spawn that does this as font size 100%. I'm not sure whether this makes it 100% of the original for the order inherited font, so let's see. Um, let's finish this uh, and very afterwards. Uh, so those don't apply. And with that, I think that I'm done. Okay. Um, let's refresh and go here. Yeah, it's perfectly doesn't work. And it seems like I have failed to enclose the H2, right? Yep. Yeah, totally doesn't work. Um, so, uh, font size. Set to body, I guess. Um.
this is if I would be using a slightly different approach to this whole thing. It makes sense, but it will also totally um, send me down uh, CSS, skin CSS hell. So what is the default size? 1.5. I mean, that's true. I could do an EM. That should theoretically. Reset me. Okay, totally doesn't work. Why? Inspect element. So what would happen if I would change it to 10 pixels? Okay. So one in Oh, so EM is row, okay. So this works minus the uh, minus the fact that for some reason it's bold. is this one and it's not built here so what have I done wrong right uh, because it's inheriting from um, the H2 so from the X it's going to be Normal. Yep, this works. Cool. Yeah. Dosah rozsah. Uh, I'm not showing some attributes for some reason. Let me see. So this is production and this shows uh, I'll see below. And in here, it's not shown. Hmm. And I don't see.
Oh. Right, because in this case, the, um, okay, so apparently what I should do is really, uh, if there is a description, just a description, also show it. And because of how people use it, also if it's here, so this goes here and this goes here. Okay, now it works as well as here. Coolio. I think that the subgroups should also be clickable down the road. Okay. So this would be it. Uh, so now do the same for detail. So, uh, and before I do, let me check on the pipelines. And seems like something is broken here, uh, but the previous version and the deploy potentially worked right. Uh, here. Okay. Dashboard Heroku. Oh wait, this was Chromium's job. And creative page was not rendered because template doesn't exist. Fair stuff works. Um, so I have deployed it. Uh, so now what I need to do is to load data pages, but on production. and also to, uh, to run the migrations. So that worked and let's migrate so we have the uh, ranger spells. Cool. So if I go to a new versions production, uh, then I should see the spells. and be able to click on them. Cool. Uh, so with that, uh, let's use the template for wizard spell detail. Wait. I've been opening list not detail. So wizard spell detail 
This is what's going in. And also this infamous summon words. Which goes here. Let me check. Let me check whether it's this one weird. Think or whether I have fucked up. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, that's because someone was ripping multiple articles into one. But A, I'm definitely not displaying all of those. And B, I'm not even displaying the... Right. I'm not even displaying the magic words, and the reason is that, as before, I have to replace those guys. Looks better. All right, so this is wizard for time being. Uh, and that will be all for today. So, uh, templates, creative pages. and we are on a ticket uh, 53 again um, all right so let me push that well let me actually pull first and rebase on top of master And once we have that tested, we'll dep replay the deploy round. Shrek, are we there yet? And now? Okay. So this should wrap up the wizard spells and we are going to go ahead for the two ones that are weird not today um, because um, I said early dinner and I'm already late for cooking but uh, what is weird on the next two while we're waiting for the test, is that um, both of them um, people upload them by sending them over to a designated mail, uh, and they don't have any details 
Um, the way it works is uh, that it just creates a directory also of notes this is also done badly going to the previous page after every article um, yeah that is like a complete basically rsync and as you can see it's designated by uh, by an id so that needs to figuring out i think it should be self-contained and it ca and similar in case of downloads um, that is about uh, sending various formats and multiple of them are accepted there are two groups uh, in which you can see that it doesn't add up so a lot of them don't have any group defined apparently and you go with id and you download i think it's mostly zip files mm. it's always a zip file so it's always compressed and um, this will require working with media. Um, the problem is that uh, you know, working with media is theoretically easy, um, as long as it's all under the control uh, of the application. The problem here is going to be that uh, this, all of those IDs, all of that is on the disk. Uh, of the um, current application uh, we do have a test so let's just merge uh, oh I'm not signed in here um, let's mer create a pull request maybe first Verify that we do have tests. Yep. Merge. And wait for the reply. Um, so what I believe is probably best current interim solution and let's document it so let me write it down um, not here but here um, so design for I'm saying uh, let's do S3 Chrome on the original computer, on the original server to synchronize to a can it be done to a I believe so to synchronize to a uh, with a bucket from which we'll serve uh, the data. 
And then the question is, um, can Django use a file field uh, that would use S3 as a backend? Well, let's uh, first see if there is file upload. There is. Uh, so. That's five field that will upload to. There is a storage. And apparently there is file system storage. So let's hope. It is uh, for our version of Django <laughs> because we're on an old one. So uh, Django storage and for S3. Django storage is read the docs. So now. So both three storage, it will require access key and bucket. So um, I should provide uh, key. This, this will need like a particular uh, like I, I um, single use key because otherwise you're exposing us to a pretty significant risk. Um, yeah, this one needs to run on a different um, domain which is fine. It's FTP. Yes. This should be fine. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is that it's for, uh, this is for 2017. But it's maintained. Okay, this looks reasonably fine. Uh, so, uh, and let on the career side by. Sorry, well, by using um, Django storage. That's going to be fun. So let me. Um, do the creation of the keys offline uh, because there is basically point and click uh, in the S3 interface. Uh, it, uh, I mean, in the Amazon interface, uh, the and I don't want to expose the key here, the key here accidentally. Okay, so we are deployed. So again, uh, let's run migration. In production mm. 
Drum roll. So drum roll that I'm spilling at the over uh, harvests. And uh, also pages. And once we are done, I can reload the production instead of localhost. And ta da! All right, so that's all folks, folk, uh, folks for today. We do have uh, all the boring stuff done. Uh, we are missing the last um, three. Oh, we are missing one more boring. Huh. Okay, apologies, one more boring, uh, but then two last slightly more interesting creative pages. And um, then we can finally get to all the uh, actually features and interesting stuff. So thank you all for listening and hope to see you soon. Bye.